Hi students, welcome back to this video. Listen to this uh, card. You can do more than uh, you think. Okay, today we can study a new lesson uh, that is chemical messages for homeostasis. The topics to be covered in this session are endocrine system, endocrine gland, hormone, hormone receptor complex and the endocrine gland named pancreas and the hormones. The control and coordination of our body is taking place with the help of nervous system. That you all know. We have studied that. Based on your first chapter, uh, you have studied the role of nervous system. Actually, the control and coordination of our body is taking place with the two main organ system that is endocrine system and nervous system. Nervous system can do this activity with the help of some chemical substances. These chemical substances are known as hormones. Then from where these hormones are secreting or from where they are produced. So hormones are the chemical substances. They are produced by endocrine gland. Hormones are chemical uh, substances secreted by endocrine gland. Then endocrine system plus nervous system controls and coordinates our body. Then what is an endocrine system? Endocrine system consists of endocrine gland and their secretions. Their secretions are known as hormones. Hormones are chemical messengers that helps to do cellular activities. Then this endocrine gland are known as ductless gland. Why are they known as ductless glands? Because they do not have any kind of duct to transport this hormone from the endocrine gland to the uh, cell. So that they are known as ductless glands. Then how these hormones reach us to various parts, reach us to the various cells? Yes, they reach to various cells with the through blood vessels. These hormones reaches to various parts or various cells through blood vessels or through blood. See here you can see. Through the blood vessel, hormones reaches to various cells. Since they are not having any duct to transport, they are known as ductless glands. Then what about the action of the hormones? How uh, are they acting to the cells? In order to receive the hormone by a cell, they possess certain receptors. So before we uh, study about the receptors, we, have, we should know what is a target cell. A target cell is nothing but the cell which requires hormone are known as target cell. So imagine in this picture these are the target cells. Target cell, target cell. One, two, three, you imagine. Then while hormones transported through the blood, the cell which requires a hormone receive that hormones. That cells are known as the target cell. Then in the target cells, how they uh, receive the hormones? In the target cells, they possess receptors. Specific receptors. You can see a kind of receptor is present here. Here also we can see receptors. Here also we can see receptors. And then once it reaches to the cell, the receptors are receiving the hormones. And they combine to form hormone receptor complex. They combine to form 
ഹോർമോൺ റിസെപ്റ്റർ കോംപ്ലെക്സ് റിസെപ്റ്റർ കോംപ്ലെക്സ് So, what is a hormone receptor complex? This is the blood vessel. These are the hormones. Hormones. This is the target cell. In the target cell, we can see receptors. So, from this, you can say what is a hormone receptor complex. Hormones received by the target cells. That time, it combines with the receptors. so that hormone receptor complex is formed okay then based on your syllabus uh, the various endocrine glands starting with the pancreas so what is the role done by the pancreas what are the hormones produced by pancreas pancreas produces two hormones they are insulin and glucagon the two hormones produced by pancreas are insulin and glucagon uh, pancreas produces two hormones glucagon and insulin in the pancreas there are a special type of cells present they are known as islets of langerhans it consists of two cells alpha cells and beta cells beta cells produces insulin and alpha cells produces glucagon what is the uh, function of these two hormones these two hormones helps for glucose metabolism after digestion this uh, when the glucose is more it is converted into uh, glycogen and stores in the liver so that uh, whenever it is uh, less that time this glycogen is converted into glucose and that glucose we we are using to get energy so actually that metabolism is done by these two hormones and they are produced by pancreas what are the functions of uh, insulin first of all we can study the functions of insulin insulin converts glucose into glycogen and the other function is that helps for cellular uptake of glucose so that uh, glucose um, quantity of the glucose will be more actually what is the normal level of blood glucose level that is 70 to 110 mg per 100 ml blood then the function of uh, glucagon that converts glycogen which is stored in the liver into glucose whenever the cells require the glucose that time glycogen which is stored in the liver is converted into glucose and that produces glucose from amino acids i think you have understood the functions of insulin and glucagon the next in order to understand this more clearly there is an activity you can see here then try to complete in this place see normal blood glucose level is 70 to 110 mg per 100 ml blood yes when the production of glucose is more in the blood imagine that time what about the production of insulin production of insulin increases yes when the blood glucose level is low production of insulin decreases when the blood glucose level is high what about the production of glucagon you can see the functions and you will be able to say the answer so the production of glucagon decreases and
and when the blood glucose level is low, the production of glucagon increases. Then, these are the functions of glucagon and insulin. Then, how you heard about diabetes mellitus? Diabetes mellitus. When do we say a person is diabetic? Yes. When the blood glucose level is above 126 milligram per 100 milliliter blood before taking the breakfast. Then what are the uh, causes of this diabetes? Decreased production of insulin due to destruction of beta cells, due to the destruction of pancreatic cells. Insulin production has become decreased. So that blood glucose level increases. Then one more reason is that inability of the cells to utilize the insulin which is produced. Already insulin is produced but the cells are unable to utilize that insulin. These are the two reasons for uh, diabetes mellitus. Then what are the symptoms? What all symptoms are there? When a person is affecting, affecting from that particular problem. Here's one is increased appetite and thirst. Second one is uh, frequent urination. Actually the excess glucose which is present in the blood expelled out through the urine. There are two types of diabetes. One is type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes. What is the difference between these two? In type uh, 1 diabetes is the main reason is the destruction of pancreatic beta cells. While the type 2 diabetes inability of target cells to make use of insulin that we have studied here. The cells are unable to utilize the insulin which is produced. So you know what are the reasons? The main one reason is obesity. And the other reason is genetic or gene defect. Then uh, can we control this or how can uh, increase the more production of insulin? By doing exercise we can increase the production of insulin or utilizing the insulin which is produced by the beta cells. Then another one is proper medicine and the third one is controlled food. Then there is a test we can do in the school laboratory. Take one test tube in order to understand the quantity of glucose which is present in the urine. The experiment is like this. Take one test tube. Add 2 milliliter of urine into the test tube and then add 2 milliliter of Benedict reagent and heat the that for 2 minutes. Then what we can see? Color variations or color ranges from green to red. Green, yellow, orange and red. These colors based on the quantity of the glucose which is present in the urine. The color change from green, yellow, orange and red. Then what does this green indicate? Green color indicates less amount of glucose, very less quantity. So what about the quantity? If you want to know the quantity, I will explain. That is point green color. If it ch changed into green color, that means point 0.1 to 0.5 percentage of glucose is present in that urine. If the color change into yellow, 0.5 to 1 percentage is present. Glucose is present. 0.5 to 1 percentage glucose is present. Then if the color change into orange, 1 to 1.5 percentage of glucose is present in the urine. 
then if it is turned into red color that means 1.5 to 2 percentage of glucose is present this is actually is not a conformation test uh, that was done from the medical laboratory that is done with the help of uh, doctors they will tell us to do that this test is just to know the presence of glucose in the blood then World Health Organization and International Diabetes Federation jointly form World Diabetes Day that is November 14th and its logo is Blue Circle. So while concluding the topic of today's session, what are all things we have studied? Yes, what are hormones? What is the function of endocrine system? The next two, uh, the endocrine gland, pancreas. The two hormones which are produced by pancreas. Okay, that's all about today's class. Thank you for watching this video.